So Sam, first just tell me what it's been like being over there in Tokyo. It's been a very exciting time. Honestly, I thought it was going to be really weird without having a crowd, all the COVID protocols, but it's been very easy going. Uh, Japan has treated us with just so much kindness and respect and really just making sure that we feel as comfortable as possible. And this whole time has been very stress-free and we've been able to actually enjoy the experience rather than just be like, oh, we got to get pulled this way and that way. We finally have freedom to just chat and hang out and, you know, get in touch with the authentic selves, our, our authentic selves, so that we can go and put on the performances we need to do. Well, we have loved cheering you on and watching you. So how are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. I feel healthy. I feel in good spirits uh, mentally. You know, I'm just excited and grateful to be in this position, to have made this Olympic team for my third time. And being able to share the experience with all of these amazing teammates, it's all their first time. And I feel like team dad a little bit out there. And so I've got a sense of pride for my youngins coming into this, this big grand scheme of the Olympic games and being able to perform the way they did. Some part of me just like, I'm more excited for their success than what I've been able to accomplish. Well, tell me what you have coming up next. Give us the rundown of what's coming up in the next week or so for you. Yeah, so tomorrow is all around finals. And then in, I think about six days is P-Bar finals. And so those will be medal opportunities. But, you know, my biggest thing that I've been putting out there is I'm here just to have fun and do what I what I got to do. Uh, not really putting any expectations on I need a medal. Uh, I'm just out here to put a smile on my face and hopefully other people can enjoy watching that as well. Were you able to go watch the women's gymnastics at all? I did. Yeah, actually, I just got back like two minutes ago uh, from watching and it was that was an emotional roller coaster right there. That's for sure. Yeah. So everyone, of course, we're so proud of all of our girls, but we're wondering if Simone Biles is OK. Can you walk us through kind of what you saw and what happened? Well, I was actually at training, so I didn't get to see the first half and that's where everything happened. And so the whole rest of the time I got there after our bars and then I just that's when I found out Simone was out so I really don't know anything as of right now I hope she's all right she seemed like she was in you know she was out on the floor in good spirits and you know whatever she has to do I'm pretty confident she's doing it because she knows what's best for her and you know everyone's just got to understand and love her for being herself and being able to be true to what she believes in yeah, so her coach released a statement to the Today Show basically saying it wasn't physical, but she's out the rest of the night. So it has a lot of people talking, well, is, is it mental? So I know this is really important to you. When you retire, you want to go into sports psychology. Can you just talk us through what it's like being an athlete out there on this stage and the immense pressure you feel? Yeah, I, that's really been what I've been battling for the past year is figuring out a way to be able to balance that. And Simone has it on the grandest of scales. She has, you know, she has more than the entire world watching her. And I can only imagine that the pressure that she can feel from all these external factors has got to be immense. And, you know, from my experience, you know, it's taken me a year just to be Sam McCulloch, you know, it's like, how does Simone go out there when everyone is counting on her, relying on her? And, you know, the fact I didn't know it was mental health, but, you know, even more respect to her for saying, hey, listen, I'm a person. I'm not here because I'm just your your metal factory. Like she's more than that. And her ability to stand against, you know, the expectations of the world, that's that's huge stuff right there. And I got to give, you know, mad props to her for being able to do that because I don't know anyone else that could have done that in her position. Yeah, do you guys get on social media at all when you're over there or do you try to stay away from it? <laughs> I, I personally try staying away. I still post things, you know, periodically when I feel like, hey, you know, I've, I've got something that I'm proud of. And other than that, like it's I post something and then I don't look at it afterwards. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I try not to interact with the external world until I'm done and I'm out. And then after that, I can go and appreciate all the kind words that everyone else has shared. So obviously we want to show our love and support for all of you guys. So for people watching, what helps you when you go onto social media or you hear from your fans? What encourages you the most? 
I think the best thing that I've I've heard and continue to hear from uh, you know friends, family, fans is just how much they respect uh, who I am as a person and not as an athlete. And I'm really just trying to find and express my authentic self to everyone and not have expectations or feel the pressure from everyone else, but just, you know, have that freedom to be myself and be appreciated for being my authentic self. And those types of messages, those are what put big smiles on my face. So just to wrap this up, Sam, you got a lot of fans now here in the Carolinas. So anything you want to say to all your fans watching here at home? Yeah, I'm going to be visiting soon, so I can't wait to see you all. And thank you so much for all your wonderful support. It's a pleasure being able to chat with every one of you or, you know, everyone in Charlotte. And I, I'm just so grateful to have such a great fan base and so much support. And if there's any way I can give back to the community, I'm looking for that opportunity when I get out there. Awesome, Sam. Thank you so much and good luck with everything. We're going to be cheering you on for sure. Thank you very much. All right, now I'm I'm sending you over to Eugene and your lovely lady. <laughs> Sweet, looking forward to it. Where are you guys at? <laughs> Thank you, Sam.